All right, guys, maybe you thought that I'm not gonna be doing Warriors and Yogis vlog anymore, but you were wrong. Welcome to beautiful Montenegro, right? So here I was off to Montenegro to Tivat, uh, where my friends from Run Global Carnage team have organized uh, Muay Thai summer camp, beautiful one where everybody can uh, better their skills in fighting and in their sports careers as well. But even more important for me was uh, to meet all these wonderful guys and to spend the week with them, which turned to be probably one of the most beautiful weeks that I have had this summer. Mastermind behind uh, Ronin Carnage Global Team is my buddy Misha Bachulov. Um, as every year, I'm so happy to visit uh, his camp. Misha, how is it going so far? Uh, what are your plans? What are your dreams with uh, Ronin Carnage Global? Well, listen, as always, it's a pleasure to have you here. You're a big part of our family, and I love working with you. I like I like your energy. I like Thank you. Be, I like having Thanks you here. So uh, as, as every year we're always full, uh, the, uh, the fighters are happy, uh, yeah. learning new skills, new cultures, new plans, uh, new everything. So we never repeat ourselves. And as this year, next year, we're going to upgrade it. Uh, this is the first camp this year. And next camp is in August. I'm doing a camp together with, uh, with guys from uh, uh, Pitbull Split. From, All from, right. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be in Split in August. But uh, uh, it, it won't be like official only time camp, which is something going to be a coach there. <laughs> Even though the practices were twice a day, plus one yoga class, we have had time to go to the beach and relax there as well. Denis Marjanovic, relaxing at the beach. <laughs> Hello. With our friends from Republika Srpska and with our Hi. beautiful <laughs> yoga instructor. Say something Hi, for BBC. <laughs> Jovan, why is yoga so good for fighters? Uh, it's good because they need to be concentrated. Um, before the fights? Before the fights, yes, to calm uh, his mind or, and for flexibility. Yeah, it's very good for their flexibility because yeah, they're not because so flexible, the, no, right? They're, they're so stiff. They're so very <laughs> stiff. <laughs> this is the beach yaz where I learned to walk as a baby boy because I was growing up in Montenegro. Um, and this is my buddy, Dragon Simesha. I couldn't resist not to show him some of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu moves. I've had also an amazing three roommates, and this guy is one of them, Nikola Zoric. So, Mr. Zoric, how do you feel in camp here in Tibet? <laughs> great. Very great. I'm very great. This fruity. <laughs> we have been spending days together training, but we have been spending also an evenings with uh, exploring of some very nice restaurants and bars in Tibet. We are also very happy, I have to say that, to get to know you and you are, that you are a member of this beautiful team, of these beautiful you. people that is going to produce a lot of champions, I'm sure in yeah, that. Definitely, I, th I think um, like with this team, because we have this diversity, Yes. N no team, we have like four different styles. Yes. Who are still, because we work so close together and we all teach each other about all styles. Absolutely. It yes. makes it just an amazing team. And like I never had, I never worked with a team like this because it's usually always, as we all know, ah, my style is better than yours. Yes. It's just better. Yes. There's always competition in this team. There's no competition. It's, like, it's almost like not possible. Mr. Zoric, please. Mr. Zoric, please wake up. Wake up, we go beach, uh, Russian, Russian girls uh, waiting for you. Yes. Mr. Zoric, please. Yes, of course. Mr. Zoric. Our host, uh, Boško Pavičević, the man who is running running Carnage Montenegro here in Tivat, a great guy, our friend already for so many years. Boško, how are we? so far we are so far from the beach <laughs> <laughs> no Bosco, what do you think about this camp who is now who is now? 
<laughs> I'll answer later. Uh, this this camp was was my dream actually, and like last interview I said two years ago, if you remember, yeah. that would be great if we could manage it to to make it in our country, in our city, and we did it. This is beautiful, and yeah, you are yeah. fantastic and, coach. And I'm, I'm serious. I don't know why they are laughing behind. They are laughing. You know why? Because I think uh, they don't have enough space in the back. <laughs> But uh, professional fighter Nikola Zoric, better known as Shachiri, <laughs> is having the time of his life. They were super coaches. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, kickboxing and Muay Thai trainings on the highest level that you can seriously imagine. And how couldn't it be with all these champions as, as, as trainers and as attendants of this of these camp? Besides, I have a lot of fun here yes. with you guys. You are like my family, my closest friends. You know, I have a lot of work and I have a lot of te uh, to teach. As the camp started, it was a great amount of people. It was a great, great uh, mixture of all levels, and it was just a perfect uh, group of people from from uh, men and women. And it's just been a fantastic five days of hard training. With our last day tomorrow, we have this project. Bro, actually, is to growing up, to make a bigger, bigger, bigger team. And it's not only in Switzerland. Stay tuned with us. We work so hard uh, every single day, two times a day. Uh, personally, they are good kids, uh, good guys, great uh, in school, in life. Fantastic. That's the point uh, of I've the game. Seen... I'm so happy because I'm here, because I'm part of all this project. And uh, what to say about you? All great guy, all great fighter. I love animals. I, I don't like cats especially because they only love themselves. But I love animals. Now is my time, guys. Well, I have to cut myself so blood get out of my fucking head. So I don't be so smart. To my dear friend, 11 times world champion Nathan Corbett, I had to give my book. But look at this style. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> typical seafood marinara. A seafood marinara. A typical meat. Uh, a, a typical uh, Montenegrinian dish, right? This one is. <laughs> no, it's not. After he started kickboxing, after he took knockout from football. <laughs> But today I'm gonna I'm gonna do yoga, right? Yeah, you, 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 you're in charge of torturing today. <laughs> yes, I will do that. Simesha Dragon! Begla, Koshuru, shirts, Kaksekai. Yes, this is professional fighter. Begla, shirts, Tienu. That was for now. See you. The next trip is coming.